Good Monday morning, Mount Olive Church. We want to give you your devotion for this Monday. And the scripture for the devotion comes out of Isaiah 40 and verse 31. It says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They that wait upon the Lord in due time, they will renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings as eagles. They'll be renewed. They'll not be weary. I love that verse, and that reminds me of the sermon yesterday. We talked about how that the people of Israel had to take that ark and those trumpets, and those army, 600,000 army, 600,000 people in their army. I meant to make that yesterday, that point. And they had to walk around the walls, and they had to do this for a week, for seven days. And then on the seventh day, God made them walk seven extra times. You know, and naturally we would think, well, God, why is this your timing? Why do we have to wait? The anticipation, the suspicion, uh, the anxiety. God, why are we having to wait and just walk around? And I said, you know, that's part of surrendering to God's will. You know, when we surrender and go God's way, and that was the title of the sermon, going God's way, there'll be moments when we go God's way that we will have to wait on God. I heard a testimony the other day that said, that which is between the promise of God and your purpose, that which lies between the promise of God and your purpose is your patience. Your patience. Patience is that that lies between God's promises and your purpose. There's going to be times when we go God's way that God says, you got to wait. you got to wait. And I liked that point yesterday. And I talked about Stevie and Katie, my good friends and my neighbors. And I'll share that story again. They prayed and prayed to have kids, and they couldn't. And they had to wait for five years until they were able to have kids. And so the doctors even told them, you know, you're, it's probably going to be impossible. And so I thought about how that's the same as the wall of Jericho. That when the enemy comes and says it's impossible, or when the enemy comes and brings some type of opposition, or battle, or trial, that's a wall that stands in front of us. And when we go God's way, sometimes we're going God's way, those walls are going to be there. And when we go God's way, sometimes we've got to wait for the walls to, be to, to come down, whether it's seven days and seven times around. But what we find, the number seven, is perfection. So we find that when we do wait on God, God's timing is perfect. And when we do wait on God, His way is perfect. And so that takes us to our verse today. If you're waiting on the Lord to work something out, if you're waiting on God to make a move in your life, then that's the devotion. They that wait upon the Lord. God, I'm going your way. I surrender. He says you're going to wait. And then he gives you this promise. Stand on his word. They that wait on the Lord, there will come a time when you'll renew your strength. And then there will be time to move. You'll mount up with wings as eagles and fly above the storm. You'll walk and not be weary. You'll run and you'll not faint. He promises you that. So go God's way. Surrender to God's will. Even when he says wait. Because He promises you, when you have to wait, He'll perform what He's promised, and He will give you the strength to make it through. Man, I love church. Have a great Monday.